I'm laying in bed after I just busted a nut. I don't feel good at all. I just feel disgusting, pathetic, like a failure, and I just let myself down again. But to redeem myself, I grab my phone, pull up YouTube, and start scrolling on YouTube shorts, hoping that I'll come across the right motivational video that will give me enough motivation to make a comeback from my mistake. But I just lay there for a little longer with the mess that I made, still waiting for the right motivational video to come up. But it didn't help much at all, even after I found some motivation. But I decided to try something else. I go on Spotify, pull up some motivational music, put on some headphones, and I play it. I start getting more pumped up, hoping that this would be the solution. That this would finally be the thing that makes me have the comeback that I wanted. I walk over to the bathroom, I look in the mirror, with the music playing in my ears, and I start telling myself how I'm never going to make that mistake again. How this time is going to actually be the last time. I get in the shower, telling myself that once I get out of the shower, I'll be a new man. But that's not how it went at all. Because the next day, the same exact thing happened then the next day, then the next, and it kept on going. It never worked, and I never did anything that actually fixed my life. So I had to figure out what else could, because the motivational content was not working. I learned that motivational content wasn't the solution. It wasn't the ultimate solution. You should view motivational content as pretty much just something that plants some thought seeds inside of your brain that can help produce fruit if those thought seeds are nurtured enough but they're not the ultimate means to an end. It's good to an extent, but the thing is, a lot of people take that, they take that goodness, and then they twist it, and they prioritize it too much. They rely on it too much to the point where it actually destroys them and makes them fail at a lot of the things that they're trying to succeed at. How much effort you put in when you feel unmotivated will determine the amount of success you will have in life. Motivation is just a feeling that will come and go. It has ups and it has downs and it will never stay the same. So you do not want to rely on something that is unstable and that is always changing. Treat motivation as the cherry on top, but treat discipline as the foundation in which your success will be built. Rely on discipline because motivation won't always be there to save you. It's just an extra bonus for the journey ahead. So if you attach your actions to motivation, to that cherry on top, this thing that is changing and this thing that is not reliable or consistent, then since your actions are attached to that inconsistent thing, then your actions will be inconsistent. If you attach actions to emotions, then your actions will become inconsistent like the emotions they are attached to. So instead of attaching your actions onto something that is inconsistent and something that will only make your actions change, you wanna attach your actions onto something that is consistent, that is always constant, and that you can always rely on. And what that thing is, is discipline. You must be disciplined. Without discipline, you'll be riding the roller coaster of emotions, going in circles, only to end up in the same place you started. Instead, get off the roller coaster and do what you are supposed to do regardless of how you feel. That's how you win. But motivation and discipline is not the only problem that a lot of people have and that I personally used to have. Another huge problem is mental masturbation. A lot of people just sit on their bum bums watching a bunch of motivational content that is motivating them to take more action, make more money, improve their lives or whatever it might be. But the thing is they never actually take action. It's just a bunch of mental masturbation. It's a deceiving trap. It makes them feel like they are getting somewhere, but really they're just in motion rather than actually taking action, the action that is necessary to achieve the things that they want to achieve. Action won't be taken until action is taken. Watching motivational videos is not action. Planning is not action. Getting hyped up and yelling at yourself in the mirror is not action. Action is action action. Rather than merely focusing on where you want to go within itself, then jacking off your brain with mental masturbation, focus on the actions you can take and the moves you can make in every present moment that will lead to where you want to get. So when you watch motivational content, view it only as a source that plants some thought seeds inside of your mind that can help 
produce certain types of fruit if those seeds are nurtured enough. See it as that rather than just a means to an end. And ultimately, motivation won't get you far. Motivation will only get you as far as the feeling lasts but feelings always fade. So you cannot rely on motivation to get that far. It will always end. So learn to do things without motivation and act on what you are supposed to do regardless of how you feel. And don't fall into the trap of mental masturbation. It's deceiving. It's very, very easy to fall into. So you have to watch yourself. And you have to remind yourself that you won't get to where you want to go until you take the required actions to get there. And if you wanna know the ultimate secret to success, it's know where you want to go, know what you need to do to get there, then take action on those things every single day, regardless of how you feel, until what you want becomes yours. And I also want to say, and I want you to keep in mind, that you are meant for more. You're not meant for just sitting on your bum bum, scrolling on TikTok, watching some Andrew Tate motivational videos, or whatever it might be. You are meant for more. You are meant for much more things in life. So get out there and actually take action toward the things that you want to achieve. Because success follows action. Success will not follow motivation. So get out there, do what you are meant for, which is taking action, and take that action until the things that you want become yours. I really hope this video was valuable, and as usual, keep working hard to make your future self proud. Click and watch this right now, and I will see you in the next video.